You can put small things like bed cards or headphones. Lifting the needle. Then needle lock needle. Then with the medium length needle around the coil, needle hanging wire into the coil outside hook out. Then hang the wire through all three coils. Mark the first stitch. Continue winding the coil to with the medium needle. A total of eight. Make a number on the last stitch. Pull end, tightening coil. Then give the first needle to pull out. Pick up the head of the stark in a V-shape to draw the line out. Hook it again, and that completes the first circle. The second round first locks appear, with a medium to long stitch. The second stitch weaves a medium and long stitch, with two medium length stitches in the same stitch. Repeat with a medium length needle, medium long needle plus a needle. This was repeated for times. Add the stitches to this circle. Total 12 stitches. Then pull in the first ring. Then disconnect. Pull out the thread. Use the same method to make a total of four. The last constant line. Continue weaving a third circle. First lock a stitch. With six short stitches in sequence. Mark the sixth short pin. Then connect the four woven pieces. Insert the needle from the drawn position on the second stitch. With six short stitches in sequence. Knit the threads together. Connect the third one in the same way. The fourth needle is inserted from the drawn position. With 12 short stitches in sequence. Last stitch. First knit a short unfinished needle. And then back to the third one. Insert the sixth stitch into the third piece. Stitch out the stitches. Then hang the thread on the needle. Three coils simultaneously. This prevents the holes in the connection from being too large. Then with six short stitches into the third piece. The last short pin. Also connect the sixth pin of the previous producer. Then connect to the second pin. The last. The producer weaves six short needles in sequence. Then the first needle is drawn. 48 stitches in the third round. The small thread. Fourth round, first lock pin. Knit short stitches and reduce stitch crochet into the needle. Tape hook out. Insert the next stitch into the tape hook out. The needle is then hung with wire through three coils. Combine the stitches into one. Then with three medium and long stitches in sequence. Then the needle is lengthened and reduced. Hang the thread from the needle. Divide into the needles. Tape hook out. Hang wire through the first two coils. With an unfinished long needle. Move on to the next stitch. Then with an unfinished long needle. The needle is then strung together through three coils. Complete a long needle reduction stitch. Then with four long needles in order. Repeat after long needle reduction. The long needles in order. Then the needle is lengthened and reduced. Three medium long needles in order. Finally, knit a short needle to reduce the needle. This completes the fourth half of the weave. Follow the steps above the fourth lap. Repeat one more time.
Subtract 10 stitches from this circle. A total of 38 stitches. Then draw on the first stitch. Round 5, first lock a pin. Put 3 medium and long stitches in sequence. Then the needle is lengthened and reduced. Then make 3 long needles in order. Then 3 long stitches and 1. Then make 3 long needles in order. Then the needle is lengthened and reduced. Then 3 medium and long stitches in order. This completes the fifth half of the weave. Follow the steps above the big lap. Repeat one more time. Subtract 8 stitches from this circle. Altogether 30 stitches. Then pull in the first frame. Round 6, first lock a pin. The first stitch is a long and medium stitch. Then a medium long needle. Then the needle is long and the needle is reduced. Then with two long needles in sequence. And then three long stitches and one. Then two long needles in order. Then the needle is long and the needle is reduced. Then a medium needle. A medium long needle plus a needle. This completes the sixth half of the weave. Follow the steps above circle six. Repeat one more time. There are 26 stitches in this round. Then pull in the first frame. Round 7, first lock a pin. The first stitch is a long and medium stitch. Then to medium and long needles in order. Then with 7 long needles in order. Then to medium and long needles in order. Finally, the medium and long needles are added. This completes the seventh half of the weave. Follow the steps above the seventh lap. Repeat one more time. There are 30 stitches in this circle. Then pull in the first frame. Round 8, first lock a pin. With four medium and long stitches in sequence. Then three long needles in order. Then a long needle and a needle. Then three long needles in order. Finally, with four medium and long needles in order. This completes the eighth half of the weave. Follow the steps above the eighth circle. Repeat one more time. Then draw in the first stitch. 30 to stitches in this round. This is laps 9 and 10. With 30 to medium and long stitches in sequence. Watch the opening pin. End draw. Then leave a long line. The broken wire draws out the end of the thread. The first and 18 stitches are at each end. Mark the 18th pin on the last lap. Turn the buckle over. 
Sew the zipper with long thread. Divide the long line in half. Unzipper. Notice that the front is open. Don't pull too far forward. Back side is stitched against us. Then sew with the other half of the thread. Insert the second needle into the other side first. More stitches at the end to secure it. Then the two lines are knotted. Follow up line. Then we'll whip the meat pad. Loop stitch. Then lock a stitch. Then with three short needles around the coil. For long needles. Three short needles. Then tighten the coil. Draw on the first pin. Then cut the wire and hide it. Make a total of four. Finally, with the meat pad in the middle. Loop stitch. Then lock a stitch. With 15 long needles around the coil. Tightening coil. Draw on the first long needle. The second round first locks to pins. With a long needle in the second stitch. Then with the long needle and stitch in turn. Long needle. Medium length needle. Medium and long needle plus needle. Medium length needle. The red stitch has three long needles. Medium length needle. Medium and long needle plus needle. Medium length needle. Long needle. Long needle plus needle. And then to lock pins. Then the last stitch is pulled. Then break the line across the line. Finally, attach the meat pad to the main body. You can sew it on. So a cute cat paw bag is complete. Thank you for your patience. I'll see you next time.